All right, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to fix a PS3 problem that many of us have had, which is deactivate, deactivate our account from somebody, from somebody else's PS3. And uh, this usually happens when we give our, our account to somebody else so they could download game from uh, games from us, add-ons, or or even or, or even or even betas or whatever. So basically, what you're gonna do here, you're gonna click on your Internet Explorer of your choice. You're gonna, and then right here, you're going to Curiosity. And then you're gonna click right here on the first link. And and then that will take you to this page right here, Sony Entertainment Network Curiosity. Then you're gonna come here to the Manage Account and click on sign in and once you do that you're gonna type in your your PlayStation Network ID so the ID you use on your PS3 to log into your to your account and play your games online is what you're gonna type here so, so I'll type mine And then, of course, your pass. And then, once you once you've done that, you, you have a choice. You have your choice of uh, of having the page remember your signing ID or not. If it's, if you're using your computer at home, then then maybe it's a good choice. But if you're like gonna use a computer at a library or 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 you're using your like laptop somewhere else outside don't do this until you're home so click sign in and then, and then you will get this page which will show HDTVs, blu-ray disc, disc players uh, mobile devices and then the one we want the ps3 so when you click on that on playstation systems it, it will show you how many systems you have activated in my case it shows only one since I'm using my backup account so when you click here on your PS3 system on, on any one of them it will it will show you this page and, it, and you have your choice to deactivate the device but when you click here it's not gonna work it tells you to go to the XMB menu on your PlayStation and then go to account management, system activation and then select the content you no longer want your PS3 system to use so since this doesn't work you just click OK right here and then you're gonna go here to your account And then you're gonna come down here in media and devices. You don't have to fill this in right here, this info unless you want to. So you click media and devices, and then it'll show all the devices and what they are activated for. And see, my PS3 is activated for games, video, and music. So we're gonna click on game, and then you're gonna get this option right here, which is deactivate all. And once you do that, Every system that has your PlayStation account will no longer be able to use it. If they're using your games, your add-ons, they will become completely useless. And once you and once you finish and once you do this, you will have to go to your PS3, to your own PS3, and activate your account. And, and you and activate your account. So just go to account management system activation and then activate games or and videos whatever but the most principal active games so you can use your add-ons and once you do that you might as well want to go back to to devices and then click here on your ps3 system and then right here edit it and then rename it and save it so that way you know who's whose PS3 it is and and then from and then avoid giving your account to anybody else 
Unless, of course, you know them personally. But other than that, bullshit. Don't give them your, your account. And once you uh, rename your PS3, the safest thing to do so the other people don't activate your PS3 account, change your pass. Or else, when once they activate your your account again, you won't be able to deactivate it again until six months from from the day you deactivate it. So you might as well do that right away. So I hope I helped you a little, and this and that is all for for this tutorial. And see you later in, and I'll see you in future tutorials. Kudos.